Hi, my name is Mark Polk and I would like to welcome you to another RV Education 101 video tip. The topic for this video tip is RV awnings. Awnings on your RV will provide years of reliable trouble-free operation if we take the time to properly care for and maintain our RV awnings. Today we will be discussing some tips and tricks to assist you with better understanding and caring for your RV awnings. We will also be demonstrating some products that can help you accessorize and fully enjoy your RV awnings. All of these products are available at www.campingworld.com. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video tip. Awnings are a great accessory to have on your RV and they are available in a variety of types and styles. From self-storing bag style awnings to 12 volt power awnings, each type serves a different purpose. There are window and door awnings that provide us with shade, keep rain away from the RV windows or entry door, and protect the interior fabrics and upholstery from damage by the sun. There are slide out awnings that protect the slide out roof from debris and water, and there are patio awnings. Patio awnings extend the living area of our outdoor world. Similar to the front porch of your home, the patio awning provides us with shade and cover from a light rain when we want to sit out and enjoy the great outdoors. Perhaps the most important component of an awning is the fabric. Fabric used on RV awnings is basically one of two types, acrylic or vinyl. Acrylic fabric is a woven cloth that lets air circulate through the fabric. This air circulation allows the fabric to dry quicker when it gets wet. Acrylic fabrics are water repellent but not waterproof. When you open the awning for the first time each year or if it has been stored for a while, you will need to inspect the awning fabric for any signs of mildew, stains, or other damage. Vinyl awning fabric mildews. Cleaning an acrylic awning fabric. To prevent dirt from embedding into the woven fabric, you should simply hose the fabric off on a monthly basis. Eventually, the awning fabric will require a thorough cleaning. For more difficult stains, mildew, or cleaning, I use a commercial RV awning cleaner. If it's an acrylic awning fabric, spray the cleaner thoroughly on the awning fabric, roll it up, and let it sit for several minutes. This helps to distribute the cleaner over the entire surface of the awning fabric and allows the cleaner time to work. Open the awning and thoroughly rinse both sides of the fabric. Avoid scrubbing acrylic awning fabric. Scrubbing can remove the water retardant finish. Cleaning vinyl awning fabrics. Vinyl awning fabric is mildew resistant but not necessarily mildew proof. Mildew can form on the dirt and dust that collects on the fabric. It will be worse in high temperatures, humidity, and if the fabric is stored when it's wet. Apply the awning cleaner in the same fashion. Roll it up and let it sit for several minutes. Open the awning and thoroughly rinse both sides of the fabric. To clean mildew or stains, it may be necessary to scrub a vinyl fabric with a soft bristle brush before rinsing. Inspecting the awning fabric. When you have the fabric out for cleaning, it's a good time to inspect it for any rips, tears, or punctures in the fabric. This would be a good time to mention you should always make sure the awning is raised high enough before opening the entry door. This is the most common cause for tears in awning fabrics, when the door has sharp edges. The good news about tears is, in most cases, they can easily be repaired. I keep a roll of RV awning repair tape in an outside compartment of the RV. It's easy to apply, invisible, and permanent. In addition to cleaning, inspecting, and operating your RV awnings, there are a few things to keep in mind when using the awnings. I mentioned earlier that one big problem with patio awnings was water pooling in the center of the fabric. The weight from water pooling on the awning fabric can cause extensive and costly damage. To solve the water pooling problem, whenever the awning is extended, lower one end of the awning slightly to allow the water to run off. Any wind gusts over 20 miles per hour can also cause extensive damage to the awning and to the RV. You should never leave the awning out unattended. If everyone is leaving the campsite, store the awning in the travel position. 
When you go to bed, store the awning. Even when you are at the campsite, you should use some type of awning tie-down to prevent any sudden damage caused by high wind gusts or a sudden storm. Now for the fun part. With the proper care, cleaning, and inspecting out of the way, we can accessorize our RB awnings. You can never have enough shade. That's why the first awning accessory I want to talk about is the patio shade. The patio shade easily slides into the utility slot or pull strap groove of the awning roller tube. No tools are required. The brass grommets and elastic tie downs let you stake it to the ground for stability. The shade is made from a vinyl coated polyester mesh that reduces over 50% of the sun's intensity. Another accessory that no patio awning setup would be complete without is a patio mat. The patio mat comes in three colors so it's easy to coordinate with the rest of the outside decor. It's made of a durable polyester fiber and is heat sealed for years of use. It is 7 feet wide and comes in lengths of 8, 12, and 16 feet. We opted for the 16 foot mat to maximize the area covered under our 17 foot awning. You just roll it out and there are grommets in each corner to stake it to the ground. It's hard to believe you can go from this to this. I guess you know where you'll find me on those hot, lazy days at the campground. Remember, it's easier to prevent damage to your RV awning than it is to repair it. It won't hurt the wallet as much either. Thanks for joining us and happy camping.